Hey, welcome to Daddy Jack's Go With The Blues. My good friend, Mark Greenleaf, my first customer here in New London. That's true. And we were open, getting ready to open on our first day at Chapman's Restaurant, and here comes this biker dude, parks his bike out front, come over with a little vest, and, and uh, Mark and I have been friends a long time. He's told me about his recipe, uh, Lobster Newburgh, the real deal, his grandmother's recipe. And uh, Mark, Mark is from, Groton. From Groton. City of Groton. But then his family had uh, fish markets and yeah. been in the fisher business. Uh, they, had a, they had a market here in London first. Yeah. Yeah, back, in the, back in the late 20s and 30s, my grandfather was a partner with a big lobster farm down here in the fish market. Uh, GM Long Company on Bank Street. It was almost across the street from your place. And with the 38 hurricane knocked this hole down, burned down downtown in London. A couple years later, my grandfather reopened the business, GM Long Company, over on the Groton Bank. In Groton. And he had a partner of Don Hughes with a side of a My father, his, uh, my father, my uncles, and my grandfather all ran the business. It was a family business. Wow. Uh, big, big market. Mm -hmm. Big 100 foot pier running to the river. Jeez. We had a railroad car that went underwater on a railroad track. So they didn't have the electricity to have pumps in the old days to keep the lobsters alive. Lobsters would come in, they put them in this car, and then they put the them down, down the river. Down in the river. Now the, the river's river. brackish, right, though, but that didn't affect the lobsters? This was, this was back before we got the river dirty. Oh, yeah. Back before my time. When, but had enough salt, the, the, the had salinity water. was enough up here to, uh, yeah. to keep the lobsters alive? Kept them alive. Wow. Kept them nice the Mark was saying back in the, uh, the Yale Harvard Regatta, they got, they got a big uh, race every year, and all the all the big shots that come up with their boats. Yeah, there was all the uh, the alumni with all the money in their yachts, their mega yachts, in New York, Florida, New York, New Jersey, and all over the coast, East Coast. Fifty, hundred footers, hundred and fifty footers, schooners, sailors, power boats, boat yachts. And they'd all go up above the bridge and anchor up there and watch the finish line. They'd always put the finish line for the race. Up. Right at the bridge. At the boat. Gold Star. Yeah. Wow. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> that, that was a big family get together on the Yale Harvard Regatta Day. Uh, this dish was our New Year, our Christmas Eve dish. Uh, and I never had a chance to taste it. This was the adult dish. Oh, yeah. We never ate lobsters, even though we had a lobster time. It was only on special events. Make money with it, right? Because that's what you saw it, to make the money. So we, uh, I had my first lobster of Newburgh at my grandmother's house in Miller. was probably about 14 years old. Jeez. And immediately fell in love with it. Oh, I can't and, wait to try it. And as soon as I got old enough to uh, cook, uh, I got because I got the recipe from my mother that has been passed on to the family for years. Wow. It's very simple and it's very good. Hey, you know what? I'm going to shut the vent hood off here, Bob, one second, just so we get a little more. Might add a little heat. Oh. Light. Okay, so, uh, but yeah, uh, I remember Mark. His son lives up in Arkansas, Mark Jr. Yeah. And uh, every year, I mean, every year, Mark would take the uh, schlep up there and uh, take the lobsters freeze, with you. Freeze the lobster meat, and bring it down. I so, have to call TSA to get approval to take a bag of frozen lobster meat on. It gets the security. Is that right? They'd all look at it sort of odd. But, yeah. Once I had the phone call, they knew I was coming to put me on the phone. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I love tradition. I love, uh, you know, I mean, what's better than that? Family, tradition, food, break, break breaking bread together. So, yes. so uh, we got a warm pan here. So sometimes uh, Mark did it over double boiler, but we're going to go, we're going to do it in a, in a, just on top of the stove with a low heat. Try it at the pan and make sure we don't break it. Maybe so you want to add the sherry first? Uh, we put the butter in first. The butter? Get a four tablespoons of butter in there. Four yeah. tablespoons. Uh, the recipe is very simple. You, you want to melt the butter? Put the the butter, a little bit of saute, some lobster meat, and get a good cut. Okay. How can you go wrong with butter, lobster meat, we can't. cream, you sherry, can't. wine, and uh, <laughs> we can probably put the lobster in now, don't you think? Yep. And melt right in there yep. with the uh, 
Look at this off of, uh, I just got this lobster at, uh, uh, that's beautiful. At, uh, at shop, at, at shop right. Right? It was, it was, uh, four ninety nine a pound. Four ninety nine. Well, six ninety nine, but with a discount with your card, four ninety nine. And uh, this here was a nine pounder. This is beautiful. Nine pounder. That's just the tail right there. I ate, I I gotta admit, I ate a, a knuckle, a couple of knuckles. I I ate the meat out of the head, out of the body. <laughs> I tell you what, there's probably a cup. There's a couple lobster meat in there. Uh, uh, you want to put a paprika in there now, uh, or later? No, I put it in later. What I'm going to do next is let this lobster meat be good and hot. Okay. And once, once we get it good and hot, we're going to add the sherry wine in so we okay. can so it, let the uh, alcohol evaporate. All right. Get the flavor of the sherry in there. There's nothing better than the, the, the <laughs> lobster flavored butter. Yeah, the longer it's thinner, the better it gets. That's what doesn't fire up on you. It's enough. Bit of that. Oh, I love that smell. Oh, yeah. Bob, have you got smell of vision on that camera yet? No, not yet. <laughs> Come on, what are you waiting for? Wow, we. First class. Smell that now, did, you folk, did your folks eat this uh, for, for, New, for New Year's Eve? New Year's, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve is the, the tradition. It's yeah. like the Italian equivalent of you know, the seven fishes. You know what's funny? I mean, all these years in the in the cooking business, I never I never made the real lobster Newberg. We always did it, you know, in the, in the hotels and restaurants with a uh, like a lobster bisque, you know, sauce. Yep. Had a lot of brandy, sherry to it, and uh, the cream. Well, this is a real treat. Oh, look at that. Mm, it's gonna be good. It's, it's, it's smells delicious already. Yeah. When well, do you want to put the paprika in? We can put that in right now. Right now. There you go. And the paprika adds a little bit of flavor. You want to put, you'll be putting it as I a I just pinch. want to put a little dust thing in it. Yep. This is just going to add a little color, add a little bit of flavor to it. My grandmother cooked a lot with paprika. So did I. <laughs> yeah. Old Yankee cooks, right? That's great. They were old Yankees, right? Eh? <laughs> the, first, the first Greenway stepped off the boat in Newbury, Massachusetts in 1635. Wow. No kidding. Newbury? Okay. Newbury, Mass. Yep. Okay. Is that near New, it's got to be near Newbury Port, right? Well, well that's simmering. Yeah, it is. My, 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 gran about in Newbury. my grandmother, that's reserved. Now we're going to add, take some cream, a cup of heavy cream, and three egg yolks. I'm going to get this here, Bob. Over here. We're going to get some egg yolks. We're going to blend this together. A cup of, a cup of heavy cream. A cup of heavy cream and three egg yolks. And we're going to add this right into the top of that box. I might turn the heat down a little bit now. Yeah, we, we don't want to break the cream and the butter once it blends together. Take it off the heat. Let it simmer down a little bit. Woo wee! You want to stick it yep. out? I don't want to lose that now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we'll bring it back up. And usually, the safe way to do this would be in a double boiler so that you don't bring it to a boil. If it comes to a boil, instead of the butter and the cream, Blending together, it will break apart and almost turn into like a curdle. And uh, real chefs tell me that if it does that, you can get it off the heat quick enough and get a little 
lemon juice into it. I don't know about that. It'll pull it back together again. Really? The acid will make never it heard of that. Yeah, that's what they've been told. I've really? never I've never done it. But. To me that to me acid would break the cream. I don't know. Uh, you ever you ever tried it? No. Plus it would probably ruin the flavor, I would think. Wouldn't it? Lemon? Y you'd have to use very little. Yeah. It would. I guess you can use anything like a citric acid is what I was told. But if you know your heat, you don't have to. And this is the first time on this stove. A lot hotter than the stove like this. So you got to be careful. You just want to... Call is, that cooking with gas, Mark. I miss it. I used to have it. I grew up cooking with gas. But this is going to be... You can see it's starting to thicken right now. Yep, it's starting to you garnish with any green onion or, or chives or? We, we haven't. Uh, you, you can, after you taste the flavor of this, after you get it all melted together, you can taste it. You can add a little white pepper to it to add a little bite to it. You want to add a little salt and pepper which to which it? Which I, I usually do. Uh, and then you can add a little salt to it. But I usually don't add any salt until I get to the end and get a taste of it because the salt, you know, the lobster is naturally got salt in it, it's imparting a lot of salt in it. So. You want to add a little salt and pepper into it now? Yep. Yeah, you know, the only problem is I don't have any white pepper. Yep. But here's some black pepper, it's going to throw some color into it, but... Let's try about half a teaspoon. Okay. If you want it thicker, you can add another egg, egg yolk into your cream mixture. Quality control check here. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Good. It's, and that's it. That's the wow. ingredients. This is a very simple recipe. Jeez. You can keep this warm on a chafing dish. Just make sure the candle. Not too, uh, hot. not too hot, so it doesn't break apart on you. And we serve it over paste pieces of pastry, pastry shells, yeah. or uh, or toast tips, and uh, put it on a plate and we serve it in a hors d'oeuvre with our cocktails. Uh, and Matty, as part of the Christmas Eve celebration, give me a couple round plates. This uh, one, another no, medium, medium. This yeah, just about medium. Right here. Hi, baby. I tried a lobster maneuver. No? Be that way. You see, it's just, just thickening up. And we, don't, we don't want it to boil. And this, this recipe can be upscaled almost proportionally. I've done it. I, I, I've made dishes up to three or four pounds of lobster meat. Well, I didn't. I didn't. We didn't product. have any. Uh, I bet. Yeah. I mean, once you got the basic, just multiply it. Multiply yeah. it out. Yeah, it's almost. Yeah, it's almost. A, it's it's a so rich. Ratio. So rich. I mean, that's probably enough right there for four. Yeah, it is very rich. Okay, here's what. Good. Here's what we got. It. Uh, no, no pastry shell. The Voulemans, we call that the puff pastry shell. Uh, no rice. Well, yeah, Steve's focaccia. So, uh, you want to dish it up? Ready, Jack? I'm ready. More than ready. I've been waiting about seven <laughs> years to try this. Yeah. Well, six over at Chaplin's, and we had a one year anniversary here at Daddy Jack's. Wow. That's how long you've been bugging me. Very good. There you are. Thank you. Well, I'll probably get it. Oh, look at that. Woo! You can smell it. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I'm pushing Christmas this year. Yeah. It's a pre Christmas tree. Wow. Mm. That's tremendous.
Don't worry about Bob. He gets this always. Okay. It's a little bit bigger lobster. Like I said, it was an eight, eight and a half pounder. A little, little more tougher flavors there. A little chewy, right? Yeah. But still great. You can make this with canned lobster. That's better. Uh, years ago, they used to get the five pound cans of uh, lobster meat and tails and uh, yeah. small ones on a can of them. Oh, yeah. Frozen ones. Oh, nice. And they, they make, I think it actually tastes better with that meat after it's been marinated. Yeah. It comes out very well, this is tremendous here. Holiday tradition, man. Thanks for sharing it with us. Thank My good friend. Uh, when are you heading south? You're going to mark some big sailing. Anyway, Trinway Fest is the day. Where are you going to head to? Florida? Uh, well, if the boat's ready, I'll go right down to Maritime. Right down to Boot Key in Maritime. Spend a whole winter on a boat? Probably a couple months. A couple months. A day. You've earned it. <laughs> Hey, it's Daddy Jack's Cool Water Blues here. Daddy Jack's Restaurant, 181 Bank Street, beautiful downtown to London. Mark's uh, the locals and, and, and really has supported us and Chaplains and Daddy Jack's and brings his friends down and sailing companions and friends. And, well, it's you know, the best restaurant in Southeast United. Well, thank Why you. wouldn't you come here? Thank you very much. Peace. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Javier, get over here. Come here. Javier, man, we can't stay out of this. Look, look, look. You know it's good, because... Yeah. Let me tell you something. Come on, Mark. Ready, Yo. I think you can like On me. You know, when something's so good, you lick the plate. Yeah. Excuse me. I licked that skillet, for Christ's sake, for crying out loud. <laughs> I, hey, but, I forgot how good it was. I haven't had it since last hey, Christmas. But, since the you, know, you know the incredible thing about uh, the cooking business and food? And, you know, you, you're not a professional chef. So you're, you're a home chef, a home cook, right? Yeah, and like I said, and I tell people all the time, I've had the best food at people's homes because you take the time and you're passionate about it and the recipes handed down. And it just blows my mind that 40 some years cooking, and I never, never knew the real lobster therm and the lobster Newberg till well, tonight. That's the real Greenleaf family lobster. <laughs> Greenleaf lobster Newberg. Yeah. Lobster bro. family Newberg recipe. Love you, bro. You Love take you. care, all right? You got it. Be safe on that boat. Watch out for that boom. Oh. That doesn't go boom oh, back in your head, right? All right, peace.